Look at this, sis. I'm in the school paper. Stupid jock Ryan Malloy copies off Asian student. <laughs> Look at Ling Chow, all concentrating. <laughs> what a dope. I'm the one who cheated and got my name in the paper. Put that in your egg drop soup, Ling. <laughs> I gotta thank whoever wrote this. Do you know anyone down at the paper named T. Malloy? <laughs> no. All right, well, ask around for me, will you? <sighs> well, Miss Malloy, you've got the students reading this week's paper. What about next week? How about the purpose of the tunnel between the school cafeteria and the ASPCA? We're eating cat. Duh. What a scoop. Dead cats don't have relatives to buy papers. You know what? You're right. How do I follow up jocks are stupid, you know? I mean, what's lamer than jocks? Ready? Ready, okay. Shake it to the left, shake it to the right. Go, Northridge, fight, fight, fight! Worse than being an idiot athlete, being the idiot that cheers on the idiot. Cheerleaders. Why don't you just love them? You know, we play a lot harder when they cheer. And it's not just the short dresses or the tight sweaters or the way they jump around. It's what they say. Look up my dress. Look at them bounce. You know, Ryan, I really don't think that's what they're saying. Well, that's what I hear. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write an expose about how cheerleaders are just, just shallow, petty, sexual stereotypes that are as out of date as a white basketball player. I am going undercover. How? Um, <laughs> excuse me, hi. I was, like, wondering how I could become a cheerleader. Do you want the team to win? Oh, yeah, for sure, I do. Like, so badly. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. Look at this, Mom. I'm in the school paper. Oh. Oh, look at that Asian kid all concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, he looks like your father trying to figure out how I got pregnant. <laughs> well, it's official. I am an idiot cheerleader. stupid athlete and my daughter is a cheerleader. Oh, is this not the American dream? Actually, Mom, the American dream is a French wardrobe, a German car, and a Swiss bank account. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to be a cheerleader. <laughs> I had plenty of pep. And nobody ever proved that I pushed that girl in the spirit bonfire. <laughs> Cheerleaders were just jealous of me because I could spread them and kick them wider and higher than all the rest. Well, thank you, Mother, for yet another lovely image to keep me up at night. Well, don't you worry, okay? Because I'm going to expose those cheerleaders in the school newspaper. Good, because they're scum. I hated them. Fattery slattery, they called me. I didn't know about diet pills then. Nobody purged in those days. Well, I saw them at my high school reunion, and they didn't look like cheerleaders anymore. They look more like the Rams' offensive line. <laughs> I was the one who was cheering. Cheering for Ben and Jerry and Sarah Lee and Mrs. Fields. <laughs> Hooray for piling the cottage cheese on the thighs and hips of every stuck-up, half-assed one of them! <laughs> Tiffany, sweetheart, you take those perky sweater girls down. You rip them to shreds for Mama. 
Yeah! Well, Daddy's home from work. <laughs> woo, woo, what a day. So, you went to work in the same clothes you went to bed in. Yeah, well, I, uh, I just couldn't wait to get to work. It's Sunday. Yeah, I knew that. I was just joking with you. <laughs> I was, uh, I was just, uh, out for a walk. <laughs> it's Tuesday, Jack. <laughs> Jack, sweetheart, look. Our Tiffany made cheerleader. She's going undercover to expose him in the newspaper. Say, I've got a great idea. Why don't you put a secret camera in their locker room? <laughs> and then I could edit it. Boy, will we get them. <laughs> Now, that's the girls. Please don't blow my cover, all right? I must now walk among them and learn the depth of their shallowness. I'm so glad you guys are here. Okay, Cricket, Cherry, this is my mom and dad. I'm like, bitch me, I'm a cheerleader. Oh, my God, I know. Okay, so, cool. okay. All right. so like, we're gonna have a cheerleader party to bond. Okay. No boys, but there will be sleepless in Seattle! Oh, okay, now, can I just tell you how much I love I that movie? Oh, oh, didn't you just love Rosie O'Donnell in that? <laughs> Hush now, Ma, you're scaring the youngins. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we, like, have um, a new move. Right. Okay. Instead of shimmy, 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 shake. Right. It's now shimmy, shake, shimmy, shimmy. Yeah. Right? Oh my god, it is so the ginchiest. Yeah. Okay, let's practice. All right, ready? Okay. Shimmy, and shake, and shimmy, 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 and shimmy. And shimmy. Shimmy. What? Introduce me. Come on. Fired. Okay, guys, like, I'd like you to meet my brother. This is him, and his name is Ryan. <laughs> I'm the guy that cheated off Ling Chow. <laughs> Stupid athlete Ryan Malone! <laughs> Say, uh, you know, you girls look so cute in your little outfits. Uh... How about if I take a few pictures? Oh, my God. Uh, Tiffany, could you just, just clear uh, the frame? Yeah, cheer from the couch. There you go. Yeah, just so great. I can get a good shot. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Here we geez. go. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. take one of their backs so we can see their names. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do one where um, you get on the floor and you get on top of her knee in the back of the hair kind of a thing like this. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> So embarrassing me. <laughs> Gee, we're sorry. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I do this every day. I didn't know you were there. Uh, okay. okay. Cool. Let me wow. get up. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Here, 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 let me, let me get a picture of this. Yeah. Ross, you want to get out of the way, please? In your dreams, geezer. Hey, Floppy. What has four legs and can make a man truly happy? Why, are we moving to Alabama, Jack? Oh, I'm talking cheerleaders, Floppy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're upstairs right now, splitting and jumping and shimmying all over the living room. Then what are you doing down here? I was asked to leave. Yeah, they said they couldn't hear the sound of their own cheers over my involuntary moaning. Ah, cheerleaders. Right up there on the list of timeless fantasies with Catholic schoolgirl and French maid. <laughs> I'm getting an idea, Jack. Burby dolls for boys. Cheerleader Burby. Yay, big boy. 
You're so B-I-G. <laughs> ah, French made Burby. Oh my goodness. I forgot the underpants. <laughs> and Catholic school Burby. Okay, but this is gonna cost me a lot of Hail Marys. You know, Floppy, I, uh, I never had a cheerleader. You're kidding me. Second string soccer players always are knee deep in booty. <laughs> hey, I could have made first string on any other high school in the city. We just happen to have a lot of kids of Argentinian descent. <laughs> I was the best white guy, though. I even started one game during the Falklands War. <laughs> Besides, you never had a cheerleader either. Ah, uh, no, no, I, I never did. I was just the star of the Toy Store football team. Just the QB is all. I remember the big game against Ray's Toy Store. All those newfangled space toys with the armored covers. It was fourth quarter. The score was tied. Only time for one more play. So I called my own number. I faked right, then left. You gotta admit, baby, that was right between the goalposts. Gosh, Floppy, I sure wish I had your life. It has been a hell of a ride. And I've had more tail than Casper in a haunted whorehouse. <laughs> Hey, baby. Ryan, it's me. Whoa! Yuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just saw the uniform. Girls have faces. Girls have faces. Girls have faces. <laughs> like your welcome to cheerleading kit. Here's your very own plastic surgery discount coupon for the Dr. Shapiro nose. Like we all have one. Oh. And here is your very own copy of Sleepless in Seattle. We love Meg Ryan. Oh my god, how could anyone not love the Meg? I mean, like, I she's know, so good. Oh so that would yeah. be like, that would be like not loving Barbie. You know? Yeah. I mean, the original one, not the new big fat one. I know, like, oh, she's that's that's so long. Like, What's up with that? I know. You know, like, I really think that we're going to be, like, best friends forever. And ever. Yeah, and, like, if you ever need a liver, like, I'll give you one of mine. <laughs> that is so sweet. And so scientifically impossible. <laughs> nice game, Malloy. I sure hope the cheerleaders appreciate you. Thanks, coach. <laughs> Ryan's the best. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yay, Ryan! Oh, that feels so good. My cup runneth over. How can you hate these girls? You know what, Ryan? I can't. They are so sweet and so charmingly innocent, and it is so refreshing to be around them. Before, I was always trying so hard to be smart. I was always striving. Now, instead of thinking, I'm living. Every time I say, yay, team, I feel calm. I'm a part of timeless Americana, if you will. What? No. Oh, oops. There I go again. Thinking, analyzing, gotta stop that brain and enjoy. I mean, what harm ever came from belonging to a group, mouthing mindless slogans and following without thought? Sort of like Heil Northridge. <laughs> oh, Ryan, I'm having so much fun with these girls. I feel like a kid again. Uh, Miss Malloy, may I speak with you? Uh, about the big game? I didn't want to blow your cover. Well, are you getting the goods on the little panty-flashing trollops? I didn't expect your article to be scathing. I want to know all about their loathsome sexual habits. 
Every detail. Dish them, baby. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Mr. Maglioni, they're, they're really nice. <laughs> and they're my friends. This isn't the Rosie O'Donnell show. Destroy them, or you're off the paper. <laughs> this is, like, so intense. <laughs> Daddy? Yeah! Daddy, I'm facing a moral dilemma. Have you ever sold out a friend? No, never. You see, honey, where I come from, the streets. Loyalty is everything. You don't snitch, you don't sing, you hold your mud. You never snitch on a friend. Of course, a neighbor or a relative, well, that's a whole different story. <laughs> you see, honey, where I come from, the streets. Money is everything. I got five bucks for turning the neighbors into the IRS. <laughs> Your dog don't bark so loud or so proud down at the pound. Well, Ling Chow got a C. So much for positive ethnic stereotypes. <laughs> I feel so used. Ryan, I, I'm glad you're home, Tiffany. You see, even a cheating little toad like Ryan wouldn't turn in a friend. Never. It'd make you a rat, a stoolie, a canary, a squealer. Or as they say on the streets, nothing but a damn Jack Malloy. <laughs> say, uh, isn't that your name, Dad? Well, yeah, but I mean, there must be a thousand guys walking around named Adolf Hitler. That doesn't mean they're the bad one. Besides, I'm not the one who's gonna jack Malloy. I mean, turn in my friends. Neither am I. Being a journalist means stabbing your friends in the back, then I say thee nay. I'm no damn Jack Malloy. And I ain't no damn Jack Malloy either. Right. I'm no Jack Malloy either. There's no Jack Malloy's in this family. No, that's right. Right. You know, Floppy, I was always afraid that Tiffany was gonna use her brains to become a doctor or a lawyer. Or find a cure for something. I mean, what's in that for me? <laughs> now, I think she might have a future. As a Laker girl. <laughs> and then, Floppy, then, she can get her daddy front row seats. <laughs> oh, my God, I'll be sitting right next to Jack Nicholson. <laughs> we could make a movie together. I can see it now. The two Jacks. Yeah, it's perfect. A buddy movie with two guys no one will pay to see. <laughs> all right, all right. How about uh, the two Jacks and Floppy? How about Floppy and the two Jacks? All right, fine, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Point is, you got a picture with Floppy? You and me sitting right next to Jack. <laughs> hey, Jack. <laughs> Jack? <laughs> I think Nicholson's dead. <laughs> Let's go sit with Warren Beatty. <laughs> hey, that was great, Jack. Now do you see why we don't go to your fantasies? <laughs> I panicked. Loser! <laughs> this is how it's done. Much, man. <laughs> Later, baby. <laughs> That's a fantasy. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Okay. Shoot. and watch Sleepless in Seattle. It has been almost 48 hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, how about if we watch Meg in When Harry Met Sally? <laughs> okay. How about uh, um, Meg in Courage Under Fire? Like, how on Meg? I mean, she had short hair. Duh. Yeah, I mean, she is like only truly ultimate Meg with long hair. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I beg to differ. I don't like you. Yeah? 
Well, I don't like you. And what's more, I don't like Meg Ryan. You are off the squad. O F F R. And to think, I was gonna give up the school newspaper for you girls. Oh, big whiz bang. I mean, all they do in the newspaper is like ruin people and their reputations. You're right. <laughs> Hello, cheerleaders. <laughs> Good job, Miss Malloy. A really wonderful piece of journalism. I'm pleased to present you with this shallow, empty, meaningless plaque for Jack Malloying your friends. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. Kids, there's a lesson to be learned here. Unless you want to wind up watching Sleepless in Seattle with your brother and your teacher, don't rat out your friends. Dear Mr. Floppy, I think you're sweet, smart, and savvy. Everything I want in a man. Are you married? Liz T. Los Angeles. Eight times? I think I might still be married to two of them, but that's for the lawyers to decide. I have 164 kids, too. All of them named George. Hi, guys. Um, checks in the mail. Daddy loves you. And, um, kids always wear a raincoat. <laughs>